Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the fascinating world of numismatics. If you're passionate about rare coins, valuable finds, and historical currency, you're in the right place. Today we're exploring the intriguing 1949 Lincoln cents, including the 1949P, 1949D, and the 1949DD repunched mint mark cent. But before we get started, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos. Now let's get into it. The 1949 Lincoln Cent is yet another issue that is rare in MS67 RD, despite its high mintage. Many cents from the late 1940s through the early 50s face issues with spotting and staining. This particular issue and the next several Philadelphia mint cents suffer from a distinctive staining pattern sometimes called cobwebbing likely due to the planchet cleaning process used prior to striking. On the plus side, well-struck examples are fairly plentiful, but anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. One MS67 plus red gem sold for over $11,000 at a great collections auction. 1949 D cents typically are well-struck from dyes that show no more than moderate wear. Despite a generous mintage and the roll hoarding common to the period, these coins are rarely seen in grades higher than MS66 RD. Spotting and light staining typically hold them back, as do contact marks, which tend to be more obvious on well-struck coins. Several repunched mint mark varieties are noted for this issue, the best being FS501. The 1949 DDRPM is one of the most intriguing varieties from this year. The repunched mint mark can vary, with some examples showing a clear doubling of the D. These coins are highly sought after by error collectors and can command significant premiums. In MS65 condition, a 1949 DD RPM can sell for $100 or more, with higher grades fetching even higher prices. One elusive specimen in Mint State 66 Red sold for over $700 at a Great Collections auction. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below below if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching.